During 1988, I was race engineer for Alan Prost uh, for the whole of that year, which I had been in the previous year as well. And the obvious thing to remember about the MP44 was, was it won 15 races out of 16 and came fairly close to, to making a clean sweep of it, apart from that uh, was unfortunate accident at, at Monza. That car was a bit of a departure from the previous McLarens and certainly my experience, it was the latest we'd ever <laughs> appeared with a new car. We ran one day of testing at Imola, which was just over a week before the first race and uh, suddenly this, this new car appeared and all the handling traits of the previous car had vanished and it was uh, without the driver really breaking into a sweat, boom, the lap, lap time was just, was just there straight away and uh, I think the relief for everyone because Honda had been understandably very nervous in the fact that where's our new car, why isn't it testing yet and Ron had been placating them for weeks and weeks and uh, prostrated the car first during that day and Literally on his first proper run, he was a couple of seconds quicker than the old car we'd been, been doing all our testing in. You know, you could see his spirits just raise Im immediately, and that, I think at that point he knew the championship was between him and, and Ayrton, and uh, it was a big surprise for us, but I think an even bigger surprise for the rest of the, the rest of the uh, competitors. The Honda engine we used was a, was a V6. It um, was the last year of the turbo era, and it's a very compact quite a low crankshaft height, so the gearbox and everything were very low down, so the cold car centre of gravity was, was low. And the V6 was a nice, nice engine to fit in the racing car because it was short, very good structural size and, and good packaging with the cooling systems that we need for a turbo engine. It's still looked on as, a, as really a, 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 a big marker in, in car design. And I think if you look at that compared to a more modern car, it's so small, simple, you know, every, everything, the aerodynamics are very clean because it's very uncomplicated and uncluttered. If you took the steering wheel off a car from, from the 4.4, it almost looks like a, something you'd find in a, in a kid's push cart now. And uh, there's perhaps one or two switches, one for the radio and one to, to change the revs for overtaking, but that's, that's almost it. And, and uh, uh, you had a manual gear stick, just like any road car uh, has, and mechanically it's, it's very simple compared to what we're used to seeing, uh, uh, what, I guess it's only 25 years later. The MP44 is an iconic car, really, because of the success it had that, that year, and, and also it was the first year that Ayrton won a world championship, and I think if you speak particularly to Lewis, Ayrton is a benchmark uh, to what, what they should aspire to be as, as a driver. And I think that, uh, as we've seen when Lewis sat in the car and, and you know, it's, it's like a kid in the toy shop really, and it's, it's just, um, just brings back memories of when they were, were only knee high, perhaps having their first interest in motorsports and uh, that, that, that's something they, that inspired them. Um, but I, I think you look back on that year and it was, it was so dominant, going, it was just a privilege to work with two such intense and very competitive drivers that, that it was just a really enjoyable time.